right now there's like chatter about the Celtics being oh. interested in yeah. KD. Uh, <laughs> me personally, I think every team, you know, the Warriors too. I think this is all about due diligence. If KD wants yeah, to, I guess, so. yeah, sure. yeah, kick kick the tires and you find right, out. Right. Yeah. I think like I'm guessing like the Nets leaked this because they were like, okay, let's let's try to up the yeah. value or let's try right. to scare a team. Maybe right. like the Warriors to say right, like, right, okay, right. we're going to make the Celtics even better right, and then right. uh, move it. Or they're tr- just trying to screw with the Celtics and be like, oh, hey, now you have to patch this relationship with Jalen Brown. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. But uh, uh, what do you think about that, Jay? If you're Boston, do you do, oh. you do that move? <laughs> I mean, I, you know, I think it's like you said, you know, yeah, I guess every GM has to do their due diligence. And just kind of check it out. But if they're honestly thinking about that, then they're a lot dumber than I, I, I thought they were. It's like, come on. Like that that team, man, that's a good team. And like they are, yeah. you know, they are they almost beat us. I like and then honestly, you know, when we were down 01, and then you know, and then you know, uh you know, one two, you know, I was like, this because you know, like by every uh just um measurable metric I, you mm-hmm. know i i i would say at least the starting five i think they were the better team i mean just in terms of physical metrics like you know they're younger they're 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 longer they're stronger um you know I, th- by those metrics you know they were the better team i i think and and uh but it's the intangibles like you know experience or you know hustle or whatever you know um that you know ultimately you know i think you know proved to be the difference but uh but yeah to obviously you know they they got some moves they got to make but uh you know the core of that team like why why would you do that you know and and jalen brown like he was the best guy on that team i think at least in the finals because because tatum tatum straight up he vanished he -hmm. disappeared And, and 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 maybe a lot of it was wiggins defense i think certainly had a but you know, this and that was I think was where their, their youth and then the experience showed up because like he he's straight up the last like three or four he just kind of you know there's that uh, gif of uh, that kid like he, he goes peace and like he kind of vanishes like like ghosts you know, like yeah, that's yeah. it man he just he disappeared man I don't yeah. know it was it was crazy it was crazy to watch but thank I was happy for it but I was like wow that guy just faded away but Jalen Brown every game. He was he he would have been their MVP, I think. And to yeah. talk about like yeah, you're right. If that was a legitimate thing, like he should be pissed off, and like that could be damaging for them to like if they're really thinking of like trading him for KD. Like that's uh, that's crazy. Yeah, because it would also include, you know, they're talking about you know the Celtics want to include Derek White, but the Nets they want Marcus Smart, sure, and sure. you know a couple other pieces. And picks. So, you know, me personally, it's like, I mean, it's the same thing. It's like, I personally don't want KD, even though we've lost some guys. Uh, I think we've picked up some guys. And I think the the young guys, I, I think you just need like one or two of them to make a decent leap, you know, whether, yeah. and I'm throwing pool into that category too. Yeah. If it's pool or Kaminga or Moody or Wiseman, you just need one or two of them to make a significant leap. They'll all improve. But if, yeah. If one or two, like, actually, like, whoa, if somebody shows out the way Jordan Poole did, um, if any of those, like, three lottery picks, then it's a whole nother story. But, you know, with the Celtics, I agree. It's like you just won the Eastern Conference. And, yes, yeah. maybe you would have lost to the Bucks, Or, yes, you just eked by the heat. But you got there and you had a chance. And you added some some vets. You added Malcolm Brogdon. You added yeah. Danilo yeah. Gallinari. No, so you book. have yeah. more firepower. And the thing to me, it's like, you know, it's funny, right? Because as fans of a team, uh, you live with that team. You know, you're here yeah. for, net, for right. the beginning of your fandom till the day you die. Right. And GMs and front office people and coaches, they have contracts. They have limited time, right? Mm. Mm-hmm. And so it's like, you know, this is like the Stan Van Gundy thing in Detroit. And I've referenced this before. You remember how Van Gundy was up for the Warriors coaching job. He interviewed before Steve Kerr, but he also wanted like GM duties. And mm. that was like a no-no. Yeah. And so he went away. We hired Kerr. And uh, 
uh, he went off. Van Gunning went off to Detroit, traded for Blake Griffin because he wanted to make a splash. That's kind of like an old school mentality. It's like make right, a splash, right. win, and he right. he screwed that Detroit Pistons team after he got fired, after he left, they just left wandering. And luckily they've come back with some great draft picks, but it took a while. Right. So to me, it's like, you know, if you look at a team like the Celtics it's like, Oh, if you get KD, then you are like by far the favorites. Right. But is that really, really worth it? Because as we talked about, the dude is 34. He's, you know, I'm not even talking about the Achilles. He's had some, some knee stuff because, you know, uh, freak accidents and stuff. But still, if you kind of gut your team a little bit, lose Brown, lose Smart, lose maybe another guy or two, then your depth is is lacking. And yes, you still have those guys you picked up, but like they're not going to bring you the the title no. per se. You know, no. I'd rather you know, like to me, that's just a a big big gamble that I think like an organization could make but because they're like oh we need to get this title you know we need to get number 18 yeah, yeah, yeah. and we're so yeah. close and they just want to get that one but i feel like fortunate that the warriors they have a little more foresight and and they can see the long view and they have the players to do that so sorry that's a long-winded way of me saying i definitely wouldn't do that trade no. you know especially no. if you have to give up marcus smart and uh, but like it could all be smoke and mirrors just to drive kd's price up you know me personally i hope kd doesn't get traded i want to see what happens right. no totally and if Kyrie oh. goes back too yeah <laughs> no but i think you're right i think it is uh, probably them just trying to drum up some uh a little interest or something because I, I can't imagine that that would be a a real uh consideration because you know honestly uh you know boston's uh rotation was already uh r- really short you know mm-hmm. uh and so, you know, if you're going to be losing that many guys, and then you're just down to like your starters, basically, and then, then just like a garbage bench, it's like that's not going to win a championship. And I think that's yeah. the mentality that we see that like people think stars win championships. It's like, no, I mean, it's good to have stars, but it's the team, like the whole team, like six through eight, who also mm-hmm. like these guys who like they make the little contributions that, but that, that matter, you know, yeah. and, and I think that's, one of the big reasons why the Warriors beat the Celtics because we had a long, you know, a longer rotation. We had more guys that we could get out there, you know. Right, you right. Know, which, up. which is funny. Which is funny because everybody before this, the finals was like, the the Celtics are deeper. You know? <laughs> That's yeah, what they're saying. It proved to be the case, yeah. Because especially because the guys I think who who they thought were going to show up didn't show up yeah. for whatever reason. And you the know? Warriors, the, the game plan to kind of nullify some of those dudes, yeah. you know yeah, yeah, yeah. and um and also the the bright lights shook them for sure and it's it's funny because i remember like the the spurs series um what was it 2013 was that 2013 2012 2013 um where the warriors lost in like the second round after they beat mm-hmm. the nuggets or something i always talk about how like the tim duncan spurs would always just kind of lull the Warriors and then just beat them, right? Yeah, and yeah. It's fascinating because that's how I see these games. And it's like, I love the fact, like I really cherish the fact that like we are that team now. This almost yeah. inevitability that may not win, but they're sure going to put like a run on you. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, like it's the other guys who are the young guys who need to learn how to win. But on the KD thing, man, it's like if you're Tatum, and, and I've said this too, like Tatum, he's young, he can still – obviously improve, but yeah. he didn't prove to me that he's that guy. You already talked about how he kind of uh, pieced out. In the yeah. Finals. Yeah. Yeah. And, but if you're trying to be that guy, KD isn't going to help <laughs> you become that right. guy. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's true. It's I wouldn't true. want that if I, if, if I'm him no, personally. No. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. It'd be a step in the wrong direction.